I always like to see students hitting the books, but I feel that there should be a balance in the lives of children. Good television, like basic cable vision, can provide that balance. Cable vision in Memphis City Schools bring your family television at its best, the Discovery Channel. Discovery's world-class documentary programming can provide the spark to fire family discussions on beautifully presented topics ranging from technology to culture to conservation. Cable vision is for growing minds. Okay, we got big action coming up in the ring. Before we get to it, it's always big action when we have the man himself, the king, right here. You see him. Oh, I love it. What? Wow, how about that? Uh, Eat it on. It looks like a, a cake that's been decorated yeah. across there. I'll get you the one of these. giant cake. That's beautiful, Jerry. I'll get you one, okay? Okay. $14. Oh, no, no. Okay. I'm gonna, for you, it's a special deal. Listen, I just wanted to come out here real quick and get... and. Uh, uh, let everybody know about uh, big tour. Have you mentioned anything about this no, big tag? I haven't term? gotten into the big tournament that's coming up this week. Should I stand here and wait for you to mention? Okay, it let me say I'll... this: that uh, Chick Donovan, who oh, helped... I wanted to tell about that. Oh, you? <laughs> oh, I want to tell about Chick Donovan. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, let me. T every, everybody realizes that Chick Donovan was one half of the Southern Tag Team yeah, champion, Jack Hart right? And Chick Donovan. Right. Well, uh, now a lot of people realize, you know, that we wrestle all over the country, and I just wanted to say that one day last week. I happened to be in a match. Bill Dundee and I happened to be in a match in Evansville, Indiana. Yes. And Chick Donovan, for some reason, now we weren't even wrestling Chick Donovan, but for some reason Chick Donovan, uh, he wanted to interfere in this match. Can you imagine Chick Donovan running in on a match uh, of Bill Dundee and mine? No. Well, he did. <laughs> so what we did with Chick Donovan was we gave him a rude introduction to the ring post, like a lot of people get around this area. Ooh. And so now Chick Donovan is, is apparently out of action, and we don't know for how long. For but anyway, a period of time, is yeah. my understanding. He's, he's going to be out for a while. I don't really feel sorry for Chick. <laughs> he just should have not have interfered in our match. So anyway, what is happening uh, with Chick not able to defend the uh, Southern Tag titles? There was a big match apparently set in Chicago, Illinois, is coming up uh, about the middle or towards the end of June. June the 19th. June 19th, right. And Stanley Blackburn, of course, he's the big wheel of the AWA, uh, he, I think, called Eddie Marlin and put a little pressure on Eddie, and he said, now look, uh, we have gone out of our way to book the Southern the tag team champions in Chicago, which they, to be perfectly honest with you, they don't do that a lot, you know, I mean, because they, it's a little further north. So anyway, Stanley had him booked on a big, tremendous AWA card that's coming up in Chicago, and now all of a sudden, uh, he gets word that Chick Donovan's out of action and he's not going to be able to defend the belt. So he called Eddie Marlin and he said, I don't care what you do. I don't care if you have to roll Chick Donovan out on a stretcher or whatever, but have the Southern Tag Team Champions there. Champions. So uh, anyway, Chick Donovan is not going to be able to wrestle. So what they're going to do is they're going to have to vacate the titles. And this makes it very nice for people like Bill Dundee and myself because what's going to happen is Eddie Marlin has said that we're just going to have a tournament for the titles. So uh, there's going to be this week a big tournament added to the card. Now, Eddie, uh, he went out of his way. He already had a card, he already had a card booked, and what he has done, uh, he has just added this tournament. So yeah. it's going to be a bigger card, a lot more matches, and uh, Bill Dundee and I are going to be one of the tag teams in this tournament. And a lot of people realize what Dundee and I are like as a tag team, and we're looking to come out with the Southern Tag Team titles uh, back around our waist. And I'm just excited about it. That's all I wanted to come out and say. And uh, one other thing, uh, I think uh, Austin Idol and Tommy Rich may be in this tournament too, and so uh, if they are, we're looking for another chance to get our hands on them. Right. There. Okay, exactly. Jerry. Well, I'm delighted. That's because... all I say, that hey, that's it. Hair. That's my thing. Hey, your hair's looking great. Ah, uh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, can I come back later and talk some more? Okay, okay. I want you back later, okay. The King, and right now, I think we're ready to get into rank. We've got lots of action coming up. We've got several bouts today, David, that I am really looking forward to, and I think we're going to enjoy the action of championship wrestling. Okay. <laughs> coming out here for this match. His partner uh, walking out with him in there, and he's upset about this sudden tag team because he really got cheated out of it, he felt like. He's up there right now with uh, another partner, not Chick Donovan, the one you're used to seeing with Stretcher Jack Hart. It's Keith Roberson. Roberson out of Memphis, Tennessee, at a total weight of 459 pounds. Jack Hart, the stretcher out of St. Petersburg, Florida. Across the way at a total of 455 pounds out of Tampa, Florida, Mark Starr, and in the ring right now, 
from Lexington, Kentucky, Billy Travis. Travis against stretcher Jack Hart. Paul Dangerly in the corner of uh, Roberson and Jack Hart is over here right about now. The, uh, the manager of the former because of what has happened in the Southern Tag Team titles. The uh, manager of the former tag champion, Jack Harton, and Chick Donovan. Now, let me tell you something, Lance Romance. Dundee and Lola, they really think they're getting to me now. I mean, they tried to get me in Evansville, Indiana. That's what happened. They tried to take care of me. You know, Lola burned my face. We all know it was Lola. He tried to do it again. Chick came down. He came to help me, and they ended up putting him out of action. So now, we don't have the Southern Tag Champions anymore. Okay, I know and Rich are still together, and I got my stretcher here with me, and when we find a permanent tag team partner for the stretcher, and this Keith Roberson is good enough, maybe it'll be him, he's going to go for the tag titles again, too. Let me tell you something else. Dundee, I know you're listening, and before I had a chance to put a stop on that credit card, Bill Dundee ran up a six thousand five hundred and forty-five dollars charge on my account. I'm glad you cleared that up because I've had uh, many people ask me whatever happened to the credit card. And now, well, what do you think's going to happen? I'm not a moron. I put a stop to it Monday morning. But as soon as he got out of here, the guy went out and bought somebody a fur coat, and he booked himself flights to Louisville, to Evansville, and the whole week he's been flying around the circuit on my money. Well, that's okay. He booked those flights. Let me tell you something. He's going to pay for them one way or the other. There you hear it from Paul E. Dangerly of the Dangerous Alliance in the ring now. Oh, what a beauty. Mike, um, Mike, Mark Starr. I'll get it right here in just a moment. Mark Starr going against Jack Harden. What a great drop kick into an arm bar. You know, not only did Dundee cost me a lot of money with my credit card, but the thing is, is that by taking Chick away from me, he has cost me one of the biggest paydays since I've become the manager of Chick Donovan and Jack Hart because that AWA show, hey, we were right there on top, man. We were right there on top for the Southern Tag Team Championship, and now they just take it away from me, and I don't have the champion, but I'm gonna have them. With this tournament coming up, I am sure to be the manager of the champions, whether it be Idol and Rich, or Jack and whoever his partner may be, I will be managing the champions June, what's the date, the 19th, yes. in Chicago, and I will have the champion, and I will have that big Bay Day that I'm looking forward to. Okay, let's get back to the ring in there after we leave the dulcet and tones of Paul Lee dangerly is a little distraught. Mark Starr in trouble. Mark uh, went for a drop kick and missed on it. Stretcher Jack Hart went to work on the neck and that reverse neck breaker you just saw by Keith Robertson doing him no good. Starr with a reversal and a body slam. Keith Robertson lost the advantage for his team right there. Now Mark is able to get over and get the tag on Billy Travis. Billy with a body slam. Boy, this Robertson has put on some weight here in the last couple of months. He's added Look about 10 or 12 pounds. Hey, there's a count of two Got and it. three. Boy, I tell you what, a minute ago while Dangerly was talking and I was watching the match, you had to figure this one was going to turn out different because the upper hand was with stretcher Jack Hart. But Billy Travis, Mark Starr, put it together, and in three minutes, 34 seconds, they walk away with a victory. I'm just looking at Dangerly. I don't believe there's a long-time relationship coming up with Keith and Paul Dangerly. Right. He's a little hacked off about losing that one. Time out. We got more big action coming up in a moment. That's grease-free, odor-free, sting-free. So you're free to flex, flex, flex. Myoflex, number one, recommended by physicians and pharmacists. When you overflex it, Myoflex it. New Myoflex pump. Dear Doug, I've been away a week and it feels like a year. 
I saw a guy wearing a campus outfit like yours, and it... Dear Doug, thanks for the pictures. You look good in stripes. Too good. Someone's gonna steal you. So just lock yourself in the house. Dear Doug, thanks for the campus shirt. I wear it to sleep at night. It feels Dear great. Doug, I really miss you. I love you. Campus at Kmart. Yes, Kmart. 25% off through June 13th. We're on it again. <laughs> you know what I gotta have? You gotta help me. <laughs> Crystal, the irresistible hot and fresh crystal. Nothing looks like it, nothing tastes like it. Boy, when you gotta have a crystal, you got to have a crystal. You already know that Levy Auto Parts can save you up to 70% on used parts, all fully guaranteed, and that you can get a cash refund on return parts with receipt. But now, Levy Auto Parts also offers full service and installation from all locations. 1720 North Thomas at Levy Road, 2125 Person at Airways, and 1336 North 2nd Street. Come by Levy Auto Parts, where you save every day. Open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Open on Saturdays from 8 till 3. Had a little action uh, right here on Championship Wrestling that we uh, saw when Tojo Yamamoto, it actually culminated. I don't think it started. It started no. about three years ago yeah, when right. Tojo was was beating Tony Burton around when he was training him at wrestling and all. Ended up with them parting company here, and they, they had a ladder match. Now, I got to tell you, this was a little dandy, too, because a big, tall ladder, kendo stick on the top of it. Let's look at what happened on the end of that match for just a minute or day. Tony Burton with Yamamoto in the corner. And the stocky Tojo whipped across the ring. Dumped down on the canvas. Burton now with a chance to go up the ladder and get that kendo stick. And let me tell you, when he gets it, if he does, it will be in you. Whoa! Yamamoto pushes the ladder over with Burton on it. The kendo stick comes off. Tojo is back in the ring with the kendo stick. Referee signifying that's enough, and 3.18 is the official time as Tojo is pounding on Tony Burton with that kendo stick. Burton back on his feet now. He's got but Burton's chasing him right out of the ring. There he goes. Okay, we got a big match coming up here in the ring in just a moment. I do, in fact, want to draw to your attention something Dave mentioned earlier. We've got a team of Mr. Shima and Phil Hickerson with Yamamoto, the manager. Here they come right now, Tojo, Mr. Shima, and Phil Hickerson. I got to start right off, Phil, and say, what in the world are you doing Wait with the likes Wait of... Wait Why do you always think negative? Why do you always think negative? Think positive like myself, man. I'm gonna, let's do this all the way. Why can't you just come out and say, hey, Phil, good to see you. Why can't you do that? See, you're always negative. Now, watch this. What are you doing with Tojo, man? Good morning, Lance. Good to see you, guy. How you doing? Hi. See, that's how you think Hi, positive, man. That's the way to do it. I still got to have the answer. What are you doing with Tojo Yamamoto and Mr. Shima? You want me to tell you the truth? Yes, I want to know the truth. I was sitting there in my office there at the water hole the other day, and I got a phone call. Told Joe Yamamoto, call me on the phone. And it's simple, Lance Russell. It's simple. Let's go back. You know, I've been in this business many years, and I'm almost like you. You know, I don't have too many years left in me. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you stop and you think of all these years I've been in. You know, we, I really should run up down this road making $100, $300 a night back in the days, which was big money back then. And I'm sitting home, man, and I'm seeing all this on television, how these, what, football, all these million-dollar quarterbacks, hockey players, basketball players getting all these million-dollar And now true. it's the day of the Mega Bucks, brother. It's Mega Bucks Day because here it is. I see these wrestlers. They're signing these million-dollar contracts, these $10,000 matches and stuff like that. So I'm here to get a little part of it. So what it boils down to, Tojo told me about this tournament. He needed a partner. Now, I don't have nothing against 
Mr. Shima, I don't have nothing against Tojo. And what is it, Hilo? Well, I hear he took a Hilo back to Japan. He so he needs, a, he needs a partner. So it basically is this. This is, a, this is a business proposition. It's money, brother. I'm doing it for money. So what, what, it, what it all boils down to, if we can get in there and win those belts Monday night, it boils down to, I'll make more money than I made in one year's time, Lance Rass. Well. Now, that, that, now that's the bottom line, brother. I hate to see the association. Uh, well, it's strictly a business deal. I don't care what the people. I know the people. They love me. But they, they, everybody loves a fat boy, and Phil Hickson is, is a fat boy, and Phil Hickson is good. You see what I'm talking about? Look here. They love You're me. You're good. No question about they that. They love me. But... They're gonna, and I guarantee you, come Monday night, son, when you get in there, we're going to get in there. This is going to be our first time together. I'm going to take him underneath my wing. And, brother, I have took some people underneath my wing and always had belts around my waist. And this is no exception. Well, I... Uh, Strictly money, brother. I and think Phil Hitch will do anything for money, anytime, anywhere. I, I, I think your fans would have preferred that you associated with somebody else rather than Tojo Yamamoto. <laughs> Why are you inquisitive? Why, why are you talking about asking him about personal things, about money, everything? Why American people ask me about money, everything? American people, they, you, you mind your business. They're crazy. They're no good people. You understand? You got your opinion of it, and I'll tell you one thing. People don't like why you don't you, Why don't you ask you me about 20 percent? Me? Why don't you ask me about 20 percent? Why you ask me about personal things? Uh, I, I feel like this. Tony, Tony, Burton. You got a Kendo stick match. Well, I tell you what, Tony Burton, I'm going to beat you up yeah. like a dead coward dog with his Kendo stick. Uh, the way you pushed him off that ladder. Okay, Dave. Well, in the ring right now, we are set. Tojo Yamamoto is still going on here. This one's going to be John Paul out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Bucky Siegler from Charleston, South Carolina. A total weight of 460 pounds going against a total of 484. Out of Tokyo, Japan, Mr. Shima. And out of Jackson, Tennessee, Phil Hickerson. Tojo Yamamoto in their corner. John Paul starts against Mr. Shima. Well, I'm not particularly fond of Phil being associated with Tojo Yamamoto, but I will, in fact, say you got two guys who got a lot of experience. Shima. Certainly a world-class wrestler, has been for quite some time, held belts all over the world. Phil Hickerson, uh, well, who needs to go what down? What can you his, say? Yeah. 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 Boy, oh, boy. Well, you're right. They're going to make a formidable tag team, no doubt about it. John Paul getting the... Oh, 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 oh. Hello, John Paul. Phil Hickerson grabs him by the hair. In the air, big body slam from Phil. Tag on Shima. Well, that's one thing I'll never forget about Phil Hickerson from the first time I saw him wrestle is how quick he is for a man his size. Isn't that absolutely astounding? You just can't believe it unless you see Phil in person. Bucky Siegler making his introduction into the ring. Shima crotches him, scoops him up, slams him down. Oh. Uh, Siegler ran right into the human equivalent of the Empire State Building. Uh, oh. Hagerson puts him down severely, I am telling you. Bucky on a reversal. Backdrop and the big guy over and down on the mat. Mm, Siegler uh, made a mistake, went yeah. in too quick. Look how quick Kent Phil came back with that leg, Dave. Just what you were talking about. He got it. That's it. The three count in a minute, 58 seconds, and that team of Phil Hickerson and Mr. Shima, Bonsai says Tojo, they get the win in just under two minutes. Phil Eggerson, Mr. Shima, their first time together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Phil. I hope you enjoy your money. We'll take time out. We got more action coming up. Back to it in a moment. The 
races on at the Memphis International Motorsports Park. Come out for exciting, fast-paced action of stock cars, modified sprints, sprints, and late models every Saturday night at the Memphis Motorsports Park. Weekly purses over $13,000. Gates open at 5 o'clock. Time trials at 6. Feature races at 8 o'clock. General admission, $6. Children 7 to 12, $3. Under 6, free. Discount with military ID. Tickets available at the gate. So race on over to the Memphis Motorsports Park or call 358-RACE. You're about to take a trip in a new Chrysler LeBaron, a true driver's car that gives you luxury and the luxury of saving. LeBaron prices start at just 11295 and now get 3.7 financing or $500 cash back. Plus, save hundreds on our discount equipment packages and get the 770 protection plan. But to take this luxury saving trip, first, you have to take a trip to your local Chrysler Plymouth dealer. See Covington Pike, Liberty, and Southland Chrysler Plymouth. Rent to Own is easy at Network Rental. They have everything I need for my apartment. Quick service and no credit check. All my friends rent from Network. They referred me here. When you rent to own from Network, it's like buying made easy. There's no credit requirement, no cash deposit. Rent for as long as you like or return it, and fast services included. Televisions, stereos, appliances, furniture. The easy way to get the things you need. Call our Metro-wide number now. Call now. When you call the Network. Domino's Pizza delivers quality so you can avoid the noid. We fresh bake each pizza with delicious toppings. We keep the noid out. So avoid the noid. Domino's Pizza delivers. When you order from Domino's Pizza, you get a hot, freshly baked pizza delivered to your door in 30 minutes or less. Or they'll take $3 off the price of your pizza. Yeah, okay. Right now, we're going to get him out here. The soul man, Rocky Johnson. Boy, I am delighted to say this. He's looking fit. The last time I saw him, that neck was messed up. Rocky well, looking a lot better than the last brother. time. I it's a pleasure you. to be out here. Last time I was here, I got hurt for a couple of weeks. So that's in the past because I've been beat before. I'll probably be beat again. But right now, we're getting down to this tag team tournament, right? Yes, sir. Now, I was Boy, a tag a team champion before. I know all the prestige it brings, brother. Puts a few shackles in my pocket so I can drive my cars and eat good food. <laughs> but I had a problem trying to find me a partner. I just didn't want anybody, so I went out. So I got to thinking. I said, I need somebody that can move and groove and somebody that's big, somebody that's strong. And you know who I got? Who you got? I got a guy seven foot tall, weighs almost 500 pounds body, brother, and got a body like you ain't gonna believe. I'm talking about the plow boy. I don't Man, believe. Crazy. <laughs> That's right. I took me a lot of convincing. I had to sit down with him and rap with him. Even had to buy him dinner. And I don't have to tell you how much that cost me. Whoa. And I said, Stan, I know if we get together, brother, with your body and all them big muscles you got and a little bit of brains that I got, we put our heads together. There ain't no reason that we can't be the new champions. Now, I'm not going to sell none of these other teams short. Some tough ones in the Because you got some tough ones. You got some, some of the toughest in the wrestling world right around here. So I know it's going to be hard. But when I got a man like that behind my back, you know, when he's moving, I'm grooving and vice versa, you know. Yo. So I just want to... Let everybody know that I got the main man, Stan Frazier, seven foot, almost 500 pounds of solid steel and sex appeal, brother. And we're going down there. And if things go the way we got a plan, because we got a lot of strategy, and we've been sitting there talking, we've been looking at films of different guys, we've been getting down, we've been doing a little road work, we've been in the gym clanging and banging and a whole bit. And Monday night, Lance, we're going to be ready. And it's always a pleasure talking to you. And it's a, Great pleasure being back I'm here. I'm glad to see you back in great shape again. It looked like you're weighing about 278. Rock, 75, all right. Rock's been uh, trimming it down just a little bit. He got up when he was power lifting in Africa at 287. And uh, so he, he in fact, is a... Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. We'll run on around here and take a look. Rocky Johnson, Stan Frazier going to be getting action right there. We are going to right now take the opportunity to take a listen to uh, uh, some out of town action. Yeah, we got what's plenty going on around the territory. Yeah. Okay. Championship Wrestling is on the road and headed to your hometown. Thursday, June 11th, Wilson, Arkansas at Rivercrest High School. Tickets available at Riverside Sales in Osceola. Friday, June 12th, catch 
watch the action at Haytime, Missouri at the high school. Tickets available from Rick's Video and Jim's Grocery. Friday, June 12th, wrestling comes to Mount Pleasant, Mississippi at the Mount Pleasant Academy. Tickets available at First State Bank in Holly Springs and Mount Pleasant, also at Busy Bee and the high school office. Sunday, June 14th, action at the Jackson Coliseum, Jackson, Tennessee. Advanced tickets at EW James Supermarkets until 4. Box office opens at 4. Sunday, June 14th in Jackson. Thursday, June 18th, Clifton, Tennessee at Frank Hughes High School. Action Friday, June 26th, Grenada, Mississippi at Grenada High School. Saturday, June 27th, Championship Wrestling comes to Jonesboro, Arkansas, American Legion Arena. Box office opens at 4. Coming soon, action in Columbus, Mississippi at the Lavender Coliseum. Don't miss the most exciting action today. Championship Wrestling, we'll see you at ringside. Hey, that's the big action. Boy, the one that I do know about is the Jackson, Tennessee on the 14th. Mm -hmm. Got a super main event coming up over there. I uh, want to uh, give you an opportunity to take advantage of coming up here to Championship Wrestling uh, in the studios. Uh, the tickets are free. By golly, you can't beat that. That's right. Price is right. Yes, sir. I do want to say this. It's very simple. Same way it has been over the last long years. But there is one important thing we ask you to please do. Write in for the tickets to Wrestling Tickets at WMC TV, 1960 Union Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee, 38104. Now, the one thing that you must remember is that when you write to that address and state that you're interested in wrestling tickets, and we try to limit it to four, unless you're a group, of course, if you have a family of more than that, please put in a stamp self-addressed envelope. Address an envelope to yourself, put a stamp on it, do not seal that envelope because that's the one the tickets will be returned to you in. Uh, there is no charge for it. Uh, the waiting list is not very long so that you will get your tickets back in there and we'll be looking forward to having you right up here in the studio and you can enjoy it with us as we have the opportunity to see championship wrestling every week. WMC TV. 1960 Union Avenue, 38104. Looking forward to seeing you right out here. Uh, we have got quite a card coming Monday in there. Now, uh, we're going to take a look at the whole card, a little promotion on the entire card in just a moment, Dave. This son of a gun was a major league card before the Southern Tag Tournament was ever added to the card. You're right. Now, listen to this, please. You will probably hear in the promotion, it says 7 o'clock, the time is wrong. It is 7.30, rather. Okay, 7.30 rather than 7 o'clock. It is a half hour earlier because we have 12 matches with this uh, Southern Tournament added to the card, brother. It, and the thing about it is it's regular prices, exactly Absolutely. the same price. We had a super card, which you will see the entire card, and we'll talk about in a little bit. But this was just added to it because... It was necessary to have this one-night tournament as ordered by Stanley Blackburn to establish a new Southern Tag Team uh, Champions because of the fact Chick Donovan is hurt and is going to be out for a considerable length of time and will not be back in action. So, Monday night, you're the one that benefits. We start at 7.30. Here's the entire card. Let's take a listen. Championship Wrestling Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. Note, special bell time, 7 o'clock with 12 big matches on the card. A one-night Southern Tag Team Championship Tournament. First round matches include Jerry the King Lawler and superstar Bill Dundee battling Mr. Shima and Phil Hickerson with Tojo Yamamoto. Jeff Jarrett and Big Bubba take on Paul Diamond and Pat Tanaka with Downtown Bruno. Austin Idol and Tommy Rich versus Rocky Johnson and the Giant Hillbilly. Billy Travis and Mark Star meet the Moondog Spot and Stretcher Jack Hart. Plus, you'll see a kendo stick match as Tony Burton does battle with Tojo Yamamoto. Then a grudge six-man tag battle. Downtown Bruno, Paul Diamond, and Pat Tanaka against Big Bubba, Billy Travis, and Mark Starr. An international heavyweight title match. Superstar Bill Dundee versus Wildfire Tommy Rich. Plus a no time limit, no disqualification. The Mid-America title belt versus the hair of the dog. Jeff Jarrett battles Moondog Spot accompanied by Downtown Bruno. A Southern heavyweight title match jerry the king lawler versus the universal heartthrob austin idol with paulie dangerly the year's biggest and best matches yet special bell time seven o'clock monday night at the mid-south coliseum we'll see you at ringside that special bell time is flashing right now it is 7 30 rather than seven o'clock 
The ticket prices remain exactly the same before the added feature of the Southern Tag Tournament was put on it. What a super night of action that's going to be Monday night. Believe me, you'll be sorry if you miss this one. Come on down there Monday night. We'll be looking forward to having you right there with us. We're going to be back in action in just one moment. We've got an unbelievable, bizarre story about Big Bubba coming up. When you overflex it, myoflex it, flex it, pump it, pump. New Myoflex pump. The pain relief rub that's grease free, odor free, sting free. So you're free to flex, flex, flex. My myoflex. Number one recommended by physicians and pharmacists. When you overflex it, my myoflex it. New Myoflex pump. Say, what's all the ruckus? I'm a chicken hawk, and I can't catch any chickens. Don't be a lunkhead, son. You want to know how to get great chicken? Go to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Maybe it's the special way they cook that finger-licking good chicken. Or maybe it's those herbs and spices. It's America's favorite chicken. Now get going, son. I'll protect the ladies. <laughs> Must be losing my touch. I've, I've, I've got an idea. Why doesn't New Coke have a taste test where New Coke takes on Pepsi, and we'll call it the New Coke Pop Quiz? Yeah. Yeah? Where, where? Where? When Coke did take on Pepsi in nationwide tests, more people chose Coke over Pepsi. Prove it to yourself. You'll see why more people are choosing the taste of Coke. Catch the wave. Coke. I've got another idea, but I'm not telling you. <laughs> Don't look now. But your Memphis Big Ten Chevy dealers are really letting it rip. With deals like $1,000 cash back on the high-performance Chevy Camaro. Whatever you do, don't let a deal like this get past you. Uh, Davey and I were just sitting here talking about it. Uh, the Pay attention, because you don't want to miss this. This is a son of a gun. This is one of the most bizarre stories I ever heard in my life. Now, it involves Big Bubba. I think most, uh, most of the folks know that, that Big Bubba uh, missed his match mm -hmm. and, uh, last week, and, and that was unusual because while, you know, I'm always seen eye to eye with Big Bubba and all... Uh, the guy is dependable and he's a tough son of a gun so it was kind of unusual that he missed it i talked to big bubba about it and this is all after the fact and bubba says he was getting ready to leave from the match he went out to the parking lot put his key in his automobile to unlock the car and the next thing that he knew he woke up in a cabin south of hazard kentucky with a knot on his head. Now, uh, I said, Bubba, fill us in a little bit more. Uh, Bubba had gotten with Randy Hales to kind of tell the entire story. So let's look at this videotape. You've got to see this because this is really interesting and it poses some interesting thoughts, too. Look. I'll tell you, Randy, I stopped here because this is right where I came out after being held up in that little cabin up in the woods. I took him, came right over there, right through the woods, crossed this little creek up on this road this is my first glimpse of real civilization you don't know how happy i was to see his little gravelly road yeah. here and you know i brought you in this way it's at least around four oh. miles from the main highway and that's where you know i finally got waved down somebody to give me some help you know and as you can see right over there that's yeah, let's, where i came let's across I, take a look over there you can see there's like a little animal trail or a deer trail right over there yeah and i came across this creek here that's the way i came from the shack i just followed it out here and onto this little road and and you know came the rest. out to this road. Yeah, let me tell the people real quick where we are. We are about 20 miles south of Hazard, Kentucky, and we're near the Kentucky-Tennessee state line. And if we uh, could right now, Bubba, let's go see if you can find out where they, uh, they kept you, okay? Well, I'll tell you what, I hope you got your hiking boots because it's plumb way up in the holler over Let's there. go.
Randy, I'll tell you what, man. I'm big and strong, and uh, I've fought some uh, tough people, and I've been in some tough situations in my life, and I've never felt helpless. But, brother, let me tell you, the hours that I spent in this cabin out here in the country, bound and gagged, I'm, I can't tell you how helpless I felt. I had you tied, I, it was, tied. It was the weirdest feeling at all. It, it burnt my wrist, my yeah, neck, you can I see can here. I can see that on your wrist. Uh, I saw the, those ropes for hours until I finally got through, boy. And, it, and when I finally made it out to that road, it, you don't know what a, a sigh of relief it was. I, you know, I've never felt scared. And I, I'm going to tell you, I was petrified. Well, we because I didn't know what was going to happen. Are we going the right way? I'm right pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure. You know, I, I'm almost positive this is the right way back here. Uh, Randy, we're going to have to change some gears here, buddy. All right, we got it. Roads are a little rough. There we go. Four wheel drive here. All right. Careful here. All right. It's pretty steep, I'm telling you. Think we make it? The same with the faint heart. Be careful. <laughs> well, big boy, this is about as far as we go on in this thing. Well, I guess we got to walk, don't we? I hope you got your walking boots on. How far is that place? <laughs> it's back in the hollow there. Pretty far. Now? Yeah, see up there's a little path up behind there above that rise up there. Goes right in the woods. That's where it's at. Well, that's where we need to go then. Oh, of course. Well, we just have to find it because I want to show all the people exactly what they did to me. Come on, Randy. Okay. I'm just about there, buddy. Hold up. There it is. You can just barely see it over here. I brought you. Oh, Jake can find it. Yeah, here we are. See, okay. See, Randy? There it is. I told you I could find it. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and uh, and go in. Let me let me see where they kept you. Be careful. Goodness, Bubba, I can't imagine a place like this. This is absolutely awful. You think it's bad? Come on in here. It gets okay. better. It gets better. Come look at okay. me. This is the dungeon where they held me. Jeez. Can you believe this? Uh, this is where it was tied up right here. Can you believe it? This is awful. Huh? This is absolutely awful. See this door jam here? This is the, what's left of the rope right here. I was busy. It seemed like for a whole day and half the night trying to saw my way through this rope so I could get loose and get out of this place. I've never been afraid of anybody or anything in my whole life. But I was, I, I was definitely scared here. I was in fear for my life. Let me tell you something. You think it's bad now? Oh, you really? Terrible. You should be here at night. I heard the pat, pitter patter like of rats, you know, raccoons. I heard snakes. In the dark, your mind plays a lot of serious tricks on you. Well, let me tell you, I've never been afraid of anything, but I was in fear of my life being here alone by myself. Well, let's get out of here, Bubba. This is, this is terrible. Well, Randy, I'll tell you, I want to thank you very much for coming out here. I know you went through a lot of hardship being here, but I wanted to show you where I spent the worst and most horrible night of my life out here, being left to die out here in a cabin, because that's a fact. Whoever tied me up and left me inside here left me for dead. And Bruno, in here, I know it was you. And I have no su substantial evidence, nothing to t concrete to take into court to prove it was you. But you know, and I know, that it was you. Now, you didn't do the dirty work. I think Pat Tanaka and Paul Diamond had something to do with that. Because I know you don't have the guts in that scrawny little body to do something like this. But let me tell you something. They, whoever it was, they left me inside this cabin, tied up, to die, out here in the middle of nowhere. Randy's here, he's a witness to that. Well let, well, let me explain something to you. That's serious business. That's my life. And brother, when I get inside that ring, there's going to be some real serious business taking place. I just hope that you're all prepared for what you've started. Thank you, Randy. Okay, bud.
Yeah, kind of a wild situation. And here's just the guy that I want to talk to right here. Big Bubba on his way to a match. And let me remind you that it was a six-man match where he was joining Billy Travis and Mark Starr to go against Pat Tanaka, Paul Diamond, and downtown Bruno. He disappears. All of a sudden, he disappears. He's kidnapped. Okay, well, Lance Russell, let me tell you something. First of all, and I'm going to be totally honest with you sitting here, whatever I did in my past is what happened in the past, you understand? The past is the past. you got to learn how to forget things like that. Sure, maybe I was running around with the, with the hustlers and the gamblers, driving the big cars and the big money makers, 4-2 Cane Boulevard, downtown Pittsburgh, whatever. Maybe so. Maybe I was associating with people known as the, as the dark side. You know what I mean? The criminal element, the bad element, the big money makers. Maybe I was, but that was the past, see? Now, I'm probably the top manager in professional wrestling today. The top manager in the CWA. And I wouldn't resort to a tactic like that. And I, and I think even by Big Bubba saying or insinuating that it might be me and Paul Diamond and Pat Tanaka had something to do with it. It's just kind of reflecting on my past. Well, see, I've never dug into Big Bubba's past because it's none of my business because that's personal life. And my personal life is not anybody's business. So going into what might have happened years ago down the line has nothing to do with this because I had nothing to do with this. And, you know, in my personal opinion, because I managed Bubba for a long time, as you know, and I know how his lifestyle is. I know how he is. He's, he probably got all drunk or, or, or all liquored up or went out and got in a fight or, or something or just, you know, he's not the most intelligent person in the world. Maybe he just got lost or, you know, drove into a gulch somewhere off the interstate and, and just couldn't find the town or couldn't make it to the town, couldn't be there to wrestle. And that's why Big Bubba. Uh, wasn't around for any six-man tag matches, and he's just looking for... You're saying he made this story up? I think it's quite possible. Let me tell you something, Bruno. Now, Lance, if you had the prospect of facing the awesome team of Pat Tanaka and myself, would you show up? I mean, the guy's a big, fat, gutless, yellow coward. So he had to make an excuse and not show up because he knew he had to face the two of the most awesome men in wrestling today. Okay, That's let me cool. just get point blank about it okay. and ask you a question. Okay. Are you saying you had nothing to do with the Liz kidnapping Russell, of I had Bubba? nothing to do with the kidnapping. Nothing at all. And as far as I'm concerned, if I hear you mention that I had anything to do with this kidnapping, if I hear uh, Big Bubba mention that I had anything to do with this kidnapping, in fact, if I hear anybody from Jared Promotions, that goes for Randy Hills, Eddie Marlin, Jared Jared himself, or any of the little, uh, you know, clients that run around like Billy Travis, Jeff Jarrett, Mark Starr, any of these guys. If anybody mentions I had anything to do with this, there's going to be a lawsuit. And that goes for you, Lance, like I said, because it's not true. And I don't like to hear it. And to be honest with you, I'm pretty disgusted now because it's making my reputation look bad. It's making Paul Diamond look bad. It's making Tanaka look bad. And we don't like it because we're here because we're in a professional wrestling business. We're not kidnappers running around the countryside or whatever, what have you there, okay? And it, and it kind of makes me sick. I wouldn't do anything like that. And, and just to have you come out here and insinuate. I happen to know that Eddie Marlin is a continuing investigation into this affair because he's not going to permit this kind of thing to happen in this area. Lance well, Russell, we wouldn't go anywhere near the woods, let alone take Big Bubba there in the woods and, and tie him up or whatever. And, you know, and it's kind of funny because if you've ever seen his apartment, uh, it's, it's not even as bad as that uh, cabin. I mean, it's worse than that cabin. Okay, let me ask you this. What? Who else would have anything to gain? by taking Big Bubba out. Who else would have anything? Lance Russell, against? I don't know. Like I said, uh, Big Bubba probably couldn't make it to the match or something. You know, he was drunk or got arrested or something, so he just made that excuse up. The man told you he didn't do it. Exactly. And we didn't do it. Okay. Just because Bubba is a gutless coward, he didn't have the exactly. guts to show up. All right, well. And I don't want to hear it again, Lance Russell. There will be a lawsuit. I told okay. you that. Okay, we're going to take time out. We'll be back in just a moment. Performance barriers are meant to be broken. The sound barrier. Man walks on the moon. And today, in cotton, a new insecticide is breaking performance barriers. With longer residual control, so you spray less. More killing power in hot weather. And bigger yields with greater profits. Asana. Watch Asana break performance barriers in your cotton. Asana. Only from DuPont. brand new but you've known the name for years you've never tasted it but you've always loved what's in it 
Introducing the only soft drink with pure Minute Maid orange juice and vitamin C. And when something's this good inside, there's only one thing left to do. When it's this good inside, you gotta let it out, let it out. In diet, too. At Meineke Discount Mufflers, we get some pretty tough customers. I'm not gonna pay a lot for this muffler. But we don't mind. I'm not gonna pay a lot for this muffler. I'm not gonna pay a lot for this muffler! Meineke's the nation's discount muffler leader, so you're not gonna pay a lot. Our quality Everlast mufflers are priced from 1893 installed. Ooh, I'm not gonna pay a lot for this muffler. You're not gonna pay a lot at Meineke. Back into it. 12 crystals, please. 18. 24. Yeah. The irresistible hot and fresh crystal. Nothing looks like it, nothing tastes like it. Party appetite, boys. When you've got to have a crystal, you've got to have a crystal. Stage was set right here uh, when Jeff Jarrett got kind of bagged into a Mid-America title match yeah. and uh, ended up losing his title. Uh, the only way he could get a title shot was put his hair on the line against the Moondog spot, and that action took place at the Coliseum. Let's take a look at some highlights. We're eight minutes and 45 seconds into this one. <laughs> Referee was about to stop it. a match if he thinks that a wrestler's health is endangered but there is a no disqualification and Jeff Jarrett will not quit you can take it to the bank trade licks Bruno with a bone pulled it off the ring post Jeff Jarrett, the, again, Mid-America heavyweight title holder, and he had a big, wild match with New Dog Spot. Came out on the top side of it, and he, once again, is carrying that strap. As you see him coming right into the championship wrestling studio. We're delighted for him. Not an easy one. Congratulations, Jim. Oh, boy, I'll tell you. That had to be uh, quite a thought uh, as you win against Moondog Spot in a, in a hair match, and son of a gun, you pulled it off, you got the belt. And now the shoe's on the other foot. That's huh? Exactly right, but uh, let's talk a little bit about last week first. Uh, as the tape sh showed, uh, with a little luck, I got out of it, Lance, and uh, got my belt back. But now, this week, as you said, the shoe's on, the, on, on Moondog's foot now. Uh, the match is my belt against his hair. Now, Moondog, I don't know if you've ever been in a hair match, but uh, I was just in one, and as you know, there's a lot of pressure on you. You're out there, uh, all it takes is one, two, three, and your head's shaved. This week, Lance, he's got to deal with that pressure. And uh, Moondog, if you don't know, don't know what it is to feel like with a bald head, just take a look at your manager, Bruno, and I. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I hope to see that Moondog with a bald head. Oh, uh, I'll tell you, that might be an improvement on him, though, and it would be nice to uh, have you accomplish that little feat. That's well, right. I am delighted that you've got yourself that belt back. I think it took a lot of guts. I wasn't so sure you were smart to do it, but uh, to take that hair match in order to get a crack at that belt, Jeff. That's right. Luck was on my side last week. Hopefully, it'll be on my side this week. Okay. okay. Jeff, right. good luck to you. We're looking forward to, uh, to seeing you in the ring and in action. Jeff Jarrett, the 
new or well he is the new but he is also the champion we're about ready to get back in the ring I think we got some more action coming up here and we've got a whole boy this particular match is going to be yeah. handed because you're looking at Jeff Jarrett and Bill Dundee together for the first time Dave absolutely and they're going against Paul Diamond and Pat Tanaka with downtown Bruno in their corner yeah they come right there they weigh in at a total weight of 434 pounds here come their opponents, the superstar out of Australia and from Nashville, Tennessee, Jeff Jarrett. Their total weight, 414. Referee Jerry Calhoun getting them set, getting off the warm-up jackets, and we are just about ready to go. This also is going to be an expiration of time match. And we do have a good amount of time. Yes, we do. So uh, we'll have an opportunity to see, hopefully, a lot of action in there. You've got the ingredients for it. Tanaka... And Paul Diamond, oh, look at Dundee over there. Tanaka and Diamond, we've always said they have all the tools, all the ability in the world. The only thing that's detrimental is the fact that they're managed by downtown Bruno and their attitude adjustment uh, was not for the better, I can tell you that. They're going against veteran, tough, pound for pound, still considered one of the roughest guys ever to walk in a wrestling ring, Bill Dundee and young Jeff Jarrett should be a dandy. Tanaka with a conference. He's, uh, I think he's asked a diamond. What did he do? Did you see it from over here? Yeah, he Dundee said, hey, come on out of the corner. Let's yeah. go. You notice he didn't uh, make, have, ha make him have to look a long way across that ring, right up in his face. That's true. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. He unleashed him with a right hand. He just let that fist fly. The superstar. Uh, Tanaka a little tentative about coming back into the action here. You know, it's good experience for Jeff to uh, be in there as a partner with, with Bill. And, and even though he is a champion now at his young age, he's still got a lot to learn. And you can learn from a guy like Dundee. I hope he doesn't learn some of the things that Dundee could teach him. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you the truth, uh, there's not much Bill doesn't know. All the years he's been in it. Boy, oh boy, and all the victories. Mm -hmm. Armbar, Pat Tanaka, Jeff Jarrett. Oh, look at him. Oh, it's a foot race around the ring as Dundee decided, I'm not doing anything. I might as well go after downtown Bruno for a minute. Jeff Jarrett lets Pat Tanaka go by. Wow, right fist. Did he have that fist doubled up? Yeah, he did. Wow. Now he goes after Bruno. <laughs> you know, that's one of the things you got to be careful that you don't uh, let your focus slip to that manager totally. That's one reason that managers are so dangerous when your opponent has one. But in the case of Jeff and Bill Dundee, it could be a very effective tactic knowing that their partner has things well in hand. They keep Bruno from becoming involved in the action. Good point. Jeff Jarrett against Paul Diamond. Diamond out of Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. He's pulling hair. He's done it twice already, and there's the third time. Safe yep. description would be a strapping young man. This Diamond is. Boy, he is a lot bigger than you think he is watching him on television. Beautifully muscled. But as we said a little bit earlier, Having gone undergone the brainwashing and an attitude adjustment from Bruno, not exactly to our liking his style of wrestling now. Diamond, a perfect example of what your mom always told you about. He had all the potential, but he started running around with the wrong people, in this case, Bruno. Yep. I'm able to get that right shoulder up off the mat easily before a three count. Jeff wasn't really going for a pin. But when the shoulders are down, the referee starts to count. Did you see Dundee come in and just slip that right fist in there? He had to even hit the floor good yeah. when he popped him with it. It was just, by the way, here's this. Pow. Diamond kicks out of it at the two count. Three minutes, 45 seconds gone. First fall action of an expiration of time match. Super 1-2 with a superstar, Bill Dundee and Jeff Jarrett against Paul Diamond, Pat Tanaka. Dundee laying a little of his 
amateur wrestling. On Paul Diamond, went around behind him, hooked him around, rode him a minute, took him over right by the ropes, and Diamond slipped out. Uh-oh. Mm. Diamond trying to sneak up behind Dundee, and he did it, but Dundee turned around, doubled up the fist, and said, all right, you want to fight that way? I'll fight you that way. Jerry Calhoun trying to get Dundee back. Let Diamond get out of the ropes and on his feet. First ball. Expiration of time match. Bill Dundee, Jeff Jarrett. Against Paul Diamond, Pat Tanaka. Tanaka, and, pardon me, Dave. Tanaka comes in with a judo and a karate, and he just jabbed Dundee with a point of the fingers. Choking him. And all the downtown Bruno tactics really showing up in this match. As Tanaka and Diamond are using them. There is Jeff Jarrett. Jeff has been watching all of this. He's reaching for the tag. Dundee still can't get to him. Billy over to the corner. And here comes Jeff Jarrett. Them in there, Dundee against Tanaka, Jeff Jarrett against Paul Diamond. Diamond slumps down in a corner while Tanaka fires Billy across. There's the flying press. Look out. Here comes downtown Bruno. He shouldn't be in the ring. That's going to be it. Look at Bill Scotty. He caught Bruno, who was trying to get away, and finally does. But that's going to put a flying halt to it, Davey. That's going to stop the first ball right there. With Bruno coming in, the interference calls for a disqualification. Referee immediately stopped it and disqualifies the team of Diamond, Tanaka, and Bruno. Five minutes, 48 seconds, and now winning that all-important first ball, Bill Dundee and Jeff Jarrett. Boy, what a uh, nifty first ball that was for the team of Dundee and Jarrett. They look very, very good together, and that's not all of it. That's true. Just as well, I think, that Bruno jumped in there. Looks like they had it in hand anyway. Yes, sir. We'll take time out. We're going to be back with more action in a moment. Brother Hell votes for Jolly Royal Furniture. Watch the newspaper for those great Jolly Royal coupons. They're worth $10 to $200 off the furniture you want. Why, savings like these don't come down the pike often. Even without the coupons, they've got the best furniture buys in the South. With them, they're out of sight. Oh, they'll be busy. Busier than a one-legged man in a kick fight. Jolly Royal Furniture. Are you ready for a vacation? Next question, is your car ready? Will it make it to the mountains? Will you get to the beach and back? See Coleman Taylor and let one of our certified mechanics give your car a vacation-proof transmission tune-up. For a limited time at Coleman Taylor, it's half price. You save half the regular cost. So, come on in. The news is out on the street. Bow church's big chicken. And the news is hot. Bow church's big chicken. Big crispy pieces is what they got. With the best news of all, it don't cost a lot. With church's chicken, you always get the more of a good thing. The news is out about Church's new classic broiled chicken. Big, juicy pieces with an unbattered, unbeatable taste that's oven broiled. New classic broiled chicken at Church's. Okay, we're going to get back into the ring in just a moment, but I do want to take the time to get the superstar out here. He's fresh 
from that first ball victory by disqualification over the team of Diamond and Tanaka. Billy is, has got super action coming up this week, Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. Remember, the start time again is 7.30 for the matches because there are 12 matches, an entire card plus. There ain't gorgeous Jimmy too long, baby, it rubbed off. <laughs> All right. I ain't taking nothing off you, Tommy Rich, Austin Idol, and that little creep, Polly Dangerously. But I want to tell you something, punk. For two days before you canceled that credit card, I had had one hell of a time you around this time, Jack. <laughs> now, I got to tell you, I told you me and Lola was the best there was, and everybody knows that around here, because for years we've been the best there is. And when you put us in the ring, either against one another or fighting on the same side, it's the same thing as we gave we're all. And we gave we're all last Monday night. I was climbing up that pole, my little arms blew up the pole, was so oily, couldn't get the last glove, because we all know who it was in the end. And then we got it, Lance Russell. Yep. And I gotta hand it to you, Rich. I gotta hand it to you, Idol. And I gotta hand it to you, Snake. You had another glove. And that's the one that put Bill down these lights out. Oh! But what is it to say? Payback is hell. And that's what you're fixing to get into Monday night, Daddy. Because it's just gonna be me and you, Rich. And I can whoop you any time I want, boy. And I ain't bragging, I'm just telling the truth. Oh, Tommy, you have let that Polly Dennisley tell you you're so good you're even believing it. Well, I'm just gonna prove it to you, Daddy. On Monday night. The superstar's taking you out. Because like the king says, when it comes to digging back into the bag of tricks, we're the best there is at it, Daddy. Oh, we don't win all the fights we get into, and nobody ever does. But I'm going to tell you this, boy. I'm going to win this one. Listen, you were in a Russian roulette match right. to, uh, to review for the people who were not there, Bill. And that's where you have four poles on each side of the ring. On top was a box, and in one of the boxes was a glove. Now, you scampered up there and son of a gun got through those boxes and all, but you kept drawing an empty box. That's right. Now, what is it the man that, that, that says a little old saint says the picture's worth a thousand words? Well, if the man will press the button upstairs, I think they got a little bit of a tape you can show the yeah, people, right? Yeah, because, and let's be look talking this, about it. There goes Billy the up Last there. one. Everybody had been up there. Now, look at this. There's no glove there. The glove's still in the box. Now, watch. The other three boxes yeah, had all been open. Yeah, little white things. This is one. the last one. was the one. sandwich. Now, look at this, idiot. Uh-huh. Right there. But... In the end, he makes me look like look an idiot. Rick. Now, I'm undoing the box. Now, watch. Yep. You can't blame the referee for this because they brought another glove. Now, watch. Boom. Bam. Now, okay. I'm not, you you, you got to give credit where credit's due. They did it to me again. But I'm getting sick and tired of people doing things to me around here, Daddy. So Bill Dundee's starting to do them for himself. And Tommy Rich, I'm taking it out on you, Jack. You and me, Monday night, Rich. And if you pin me just by yourself... Tommy Rich versus Bill Dundee, and you do it by your little old lonesome, and you pin my shoulders to the mat. One, two, three. I'll be the first one to jump up and say you're the better man. But we both know that ain't going to happen, Rich. The international title will be on the line, Billy. We're going to be interested in seeing that defense. Then we have a tag team tournament. And I'm going to climb in the ring, and then when you after I beat your brains out, Rich, with Jerry the King Lawler and the Superstar. And everybody knows that's the baddest team there is. But just let me tell you this. Two days ago, I called from Sydney, Australia, and talked to an old friend of mine. Lance Russell knows him. Some of the younger kids may not remember who he is, but his name's George Barnes, Daddy. Woo. And at the end of the month, he's going to be here. Oh, really? That's right. Wow. Now, that's going to give you Lawler, George Barnes, and Bill Dundee, the three veterans. Then coming on behind us, Jeff Jarrett, Billy Travis, Mark Starr, and the list goes on and on. So guys like Idol, Rich, Dangerously, your nays are numbered, Daddy, because when Barnes, Lawler, and Dundee gets together, Jack, we're tearing this town apart. So I'm going to keep my belt Monday, and we're going to win the Southern Tag. Good luck to you Monday night, Billy. Uh, of course, that's one side of the story. Tommy Rich had some comments about the upcoming match with Dundee. Let's take a listen to Rich. Hey, Dundee. <laughs> You took the title from the Dangerous Alliance, I can't deny that. You took it from the Golden Boy Chick Donovan. But now we're going to get it back, because I have old TR going to bring the title back to the Dangerous Alliance this Monday night. You know what gets me built up there? Eddie Marlin, the promotion, Jared Jared, they've all tried to stop Austin Idol. They all tried to stop Tommy Rich. 1987, we said it was going to be our time. Paul Dangerously, he's been taking care of business, been doing his job. We've been doing our job. You know, Bill Dundee, you can sit out there, but I don't know how you look in the mirror every morning. You sit there louder than people out there in Memphis, Tennessee.
Tennessee. They all see me climb up that pole. They all see me pull this glove down. <laughs> you know, I heard Dundee claiming that Paul dangerously throwed me this glove. Did you throw me that glove? I wouldn't do such a thing. No. I, I, you're not that despicable. Oh, man, I'm a you're, nice you're guy. You're a gentleman. I'm a gentleman. nice guy. Exactly right. And I mean, I wouldn't have no less of a man manage oh, me oh, than Paul dangerously. Yeah. Bill Dundee, y'all's match. <laughs> Thought she was going to knock off tonight at the time he reached out. Didn't get the job done. You know, but one thing about it, my mama always told me, she said, Tommy, if you get beat, be man enough to do it no matter what it is. Well, Bill Dundee, I ain't got beat, I ain't had a haircut, and I don't need these geeks in Memphis hollering for me. They arrested two geeks last week. Like I said, Tommy Rich don't need nobody but Paul Dangerously. And when we're in tags, I got my man Austin Idol. But this Monday night, we're talking about Austin has the Southern Heavyweight Championship. International title, Dundee. You come in, you teamed up with a guy named Jerry Lawler. Can you trust him? Do you know? Lawler, do you trust Dundee? <laughs> you know, we're sitting here on Easy Street now because everything is falling our way. It's like a good poker hat. And we've got the full house. Austin Idol, Tommy Rich, and Paul Dangerously. Monday night in Memphis, we're bringing the international title into this stable. Paul Dangerously, Austin Idol, and myself. We're going to have every belt in this area, and I can guarantee you, Monday night in Memphis, <laughs> get a little tongue-tied, because <laughs> I'm excited, because like I said, your game right there, we won, one, two, three, ask all the people, you can lie, say Paul throwed me a glove, well, it's a lie, international title, Monday night, we're bringing home. Okay, uh, I want to remind you that Monday night, the time is 7.30. Uh, now, you will see on the upcoming review of the matches, you will see 7 o'clock, but it is, in fact, 7.30. And the ticket prices are regular prices, 4 6 and $7, a full night, 12 matches. Let's review what's going to be happening. Okay. Championship Wrestling, Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. Note, special bell time, 7 o'clock with 12 big matches on the card. A one-night Southern Tag Team Championship Tournament. First round matches include Jerry the King Lawler and superstar Bill Dundee battling Mr. Shima and Phil Hickerson with Tojo Yamamoto. Jeff Jarrett and Big Bubba take on Paul Diamond and Pat Tanaka with Downtown Bruno. Austin Idol and Tommy Rich versus Rocky Johnson and the Giant Hillbilly. Billy Travis and Mark Starr beat the Moondog Spot and Stretcher Jack Hart. Plus, you'll see a kendo stick match as Tony Burton does battle with Tojo Yamamoto. Then a grudge six-man tag battle. Downtown Bruno, Paul Diamond, and Pat Tanaka against Big Bubba, Billy Travis, and Mark Starr. An international heavyweight title match. Superstar Bill Dundee versus Wildfire Tommy Rich. Plus a no time limit, no disqualification. The Mid-America title belt versus the hair of the dog. Jeff Jarrett battles Moondog Spot accompanied by Downtown Bruno. A Southern heavyweight title match. Jerry the King Lawler versus the Universal Heartthrob Austin Idol with Paulie Dangerly. The year's biggest and best matches yet. Special bell time, 7 o'clock, Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. We'll see you at ringside. Okay, we certainly hope you'll make it there at 7.30 because that's when it starts. And believe me, you're talking about some outstanding action at 7.30. Now, don't be waiting around and coming in there about 8.30 or 8.45. Opening match is going to be uh, Travis and Starr going against the Moondog and Jack Hart. Idle and Rich will be going against Rocky Johnson and the Giant Hillbilly. It'll be Lawler and Dundee against Mr. Shima and Phil Hickerson. Jeff Jarrett and Big Bubba going against Diamond and Tanaka. Now, those are the early matches starting at 7.30. I repeat again, regular time. And that is not even to say the other outstanding action with such things as Jeff Jarrett and the Moondog in a hair match and Bill Dundee and Tommy Rich and International and Jerry Lawler and Austin Idle in a Southern Heavyweight Championship match. Here's what Idol had to say about that. Okay, let's lay the cards out on the table right now. Jerry Lawler, you're not man enough to do it. I mean, you wear a dress one week, you steal my pants the next. That's not a man who is capable of taking a Southern Heavyweight Championship from the Universal Heartthrob. But you got the title match. And this Monday night, not only is Austin going to walk away with the belt, but we're going to show everybody in Memphis that you're just not man enough to get the job done. Isn't that right, I want to make sure that, Lola, you understand 
that I'm deadly serious, Jack. You can look at any major wrestling publication in the United States, any city, you name it, Baltimore, Atlanta, Philadelphia, and right here in Memphis, Jack, you name it, and they all say the same thing, always the same headlines. When will the feud between Austin Idol and Jerry Lawler end? And I've got the answer, Jack. It's going to end right here in the wrestling ring. I made a vow for 1987. And I don't make vows, I can't back up. I told you I'd cut your hair. I told you I'd beat you in the cage. I put up 50,000 bucks of my own money. And I backed it up, Jack. I'm making another vow. I said it before, I'll say it again. I said I was going to take you out in 87, and I'm going to take you out. Oh, yeah. But you're thinking of something different, Lola. You're thinking, oh, what's he talking about? What's, what's I don't think? Is he going to try to break my leg? Is he going to try to break my arm? Maybe the neck. Oh, no, Lawler. See, I won't be satisfied, Jack. And I've got a hunger for satisfaction, man. That ain't can't be denied. It's not going to be until you can't enter a wrestling ring again. It's going to be <laughs> where you don't see daylight again, Lawler. Because you see the out I'm talking about. It's the out. That's about deep six, Jack. I'm talking about out. Oh, you T out. Because you see Monday night. It's not for the Southern title. Oh, yeah. It's for more than that, Lawler. It's for life and death. And I'm going to be the judge. And I'm going to be the jury. And I'm going to hand out the verdict now. And I find you guilty. And I sentence you to death Monday night. Because you see, just when a volcano erupts, and you see the volcanic, the molten lava drift down the side of the volcano, I'm just like that lava. I'm red hot. And I'm out of control. And Monday night, you're going to find out what I'm talking about. You're going out. Yeah, you hear it from the heartthrob, Austin Idol. And uh, right now, let's get him back out here. The King. One more time, we want to get Jerry out to talk about the action that's coming up Monday. I promise you, one of the biggest cards we have seen in a long, long time. King, you got a uh, double tough action coming up Monday. Well, Lance, uh, you know, I've already told, and I think Bill stood out here and told everybody about what you can expect out of us in this tag team tournament. Uh, everybody knows, and every, every team that's going in there would love nothing better than to come out of that match with the Southern tag team belts around their waist and then go on to these big uh, title defenses in places like Chicago and that kind of thing. So that's what Bill and I are going to be going in there to do. We're going to have that one thing in mind. But uh, to be perfectly honest with you, the most important thing on my mind is going to be the single match that we just heard. Austin Idol, rant and rave, and man, I'm telling you, and what a rant and rant rave, rant and, rave uh. and I'm telling you, it's, it's sickening. And I sit back there and I listen to Idol's interview, and ordinarily, Lance, uh, ordinarily I could, you know, I could sit and I could listen to him, and, and what it does, it, it just serves to get me fired up and get me ready for the match. But today, there was something else that was on my mind. I'm just going to, I'm going to make it plain and simple. You probably know that, that early this morning before I came here to this TV show, and I'm sure everybody out there knows that is watching this, that this program is live. We're on the air right now. What is this, 14 minutes till 11 o'clock? Yep. We're live. This morning at 9 o'clock, I was over at Audubon Park, mm -hmm. and I started the walk for the Special Olympics. Right. And let me tell you something. If I was asked at one time, I was asked at 100 times by every one of those very special little fans of mine that came up to me out there. They came up to me and they said, King, when are you going to get your belt back? That's the most important thing on their mind. It wasn't, it wasn't when are you going to get even with them for cutting your hair. It wasn't when are you going to run them out of town. It was, gonna, it was when are you going to get your belt back. And one guy especially, John Kingsley, who I had on my show here a couple of weeks ago, got to be my biggest fan. And I'm going to tell you something, Lance. When this little guy stands there and looks you in the eye, and says, King, when are you going to get your belt back? You know, it makes you realize, it makes you stop and think that it's real easy to come out here and stand in front of a camera, and, and a lot of times all I'm looking at right now is, like I said, a camera with a red light on me. And it's real easy to forget about probably a million people that are on the other side of that camera that are watching me right now. And it's a lot of people out there, just like John Kingsley, who week in and week out look to me to do something that they would like to be able to do. They look to me to be the king, to be the Southern Heavyweight Champion, to make sure that the belt, the Southern Heavyweight Championship belt that signifies the best, that signifies what a champion should be, is not on a person like Austin Idol. And whenever it is on a person like Austin Idol or a Tommy Rich, then I feel like I have personally let people like John Kingsley down. And I can tell you this, and I can tell all of these fine people sitting right over here, and every one of you people sitting out there right now, 
that I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to let you down. I'm not going to let people like John Kingsley down. When I get in the ring Monday night, I'm taking the Southern Heavyweight title off of Austin Idol and putting it back where it belongs. Oh, on the team. That's all I got to say. Thank you, Jerry. Boy, I'll tell you, you look just a little naked without that belt. Nobody, uh, everybody, as a matter of fact, would love to see it back around your waist. Time out. Back. We've got another fall coming up in our expiration of time. Color the weather bright and sunny. It's your form in McDonald's. Color the weather dark and stormy. Connection means fast. Color the weather and join in the fun. Pick up your entry and rules at participating McDonald's. Color the weather, then bring it back to McDonald's. Daily winners win a free meal for McDonald's and monthly winners win a Ronald McDonald wall clock. Like Matthew Helms of Auburndale Elementary. Your entry could be on Action News 5, so color the weather. Lunchtime. It don't come easy. You know it don't come easy. Somehow we always seem to make time for everything except lunch. So at today's 7-Eleven, we've made sure a good hot lunch will be ready when you are. Fixed by the only person who knows just how you like it. You. Hot sandwiches from today's 7-Eleven. Get the good things easy. Where the good things come easy. There is a beautiful place in the country, out in Bartlett. A beautiful place in the country to raise your family. Daybreak, where life is good. Again. All day, fun on the 4th. It's the Star Spangled Celebration brought to you again by your WMC stations and Stroh's Beer. Family fun, good food, great music. Entertainment starts at 1 down on the river, plus a giant fireworks display sets the music at 9.30. The Star Spangled Celebration, another Memphis tradition brought to you by FM 100, WMC 79, TV 5, and Stroh's Beer. Very quickly, I want to tell you really exciting PTR is available, and it's going to be available to you, and you can take this address down, so get a pencil and paper ready. I think you'll want this. Mayhem in Memphis. Now, this is a, a video chronology of exactly what happened in the match in which Jerry the King Lawler, inside a steel cage, lost his hair, where Tommy Rich made the appearance and the whole thing. You'll see all of the bits, the lead-ups, and all of that. You'll have an opportunity to get this for your own very own self, a collector's item, and boy, it is a dandy, too. Now, you're going to be able to get it by writing to Mayhem in Memphis at Post Office Box 3020, Cherry Hill, New Jersey, 08034. That's the address that you need to, uh, we'll leave it up there for just a second, while we tell you that you will have a chance to pick this up for $45.20. Now, that is money that you're going to have. And when I tell you a collector's item, this is one you will play 100 times for yourself and another 200 times for your friend. It has the entire match in there. Mayhem in Memphis, Jerry Lawler's uh, historic battle with Austin Idol in which Lawler loses his hair. You have got to see it. Idol guaranteed the gate, put $50,000 in escrow, and the whole story is contained in Mayhem in Memphis. Take down the address and send it on in. I think you'll enjoy having it. Right now, let's get back to the ring, my friend. Yeah, here they come. Paul Diamond, Pat Tanaka, downtown Bruno. Bill Dundee, Jeff Jarrett on the other side. They are one fall up as we get ready for the second fall, Davey. They are indeed. Expiration of time match. First fall is history. Jarrett Dundee won it. Pat Tanaka, Paul Diamond, and downtown Bruno trying to even it up here. You know, it's just been a little bit too long since I've been over here visiting with you, Lance Russell. It's been a little bit too long. I thought oh, I'd come yeah. over. You know, I haven't missed it a bit, Bruno. Well, I tell you, the, the program has, and the public has, and the audience has. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. What's this? Wait a minute, what's with the fist there, huh? What's with the fist there? 
That's all this guy that I do is cheat. Give me a break, huh? Watch what the fist do. Oh, come on now. Watch this bionic elbow, something like that. No, 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 no. No. Who's a little bit too smart for that? Hey, wait a minute. It's a good thing he ain't making his three finger funky symbol, or I'd consider him stealing Dante Bruno's funky strut. Huh. Because we know he couldn't make up an original idea. The man ain't had an original thought in his life. Here we go now. Prime time, baby. Paul Diamond. They're tagging in the kid, baby. Here he comes. Oh, come on. Double team and see. What our guys do it. What our guys do it, they call it cheating. When they do it, they call it teamwork. It just ain't right, Lance Russell. Well, Bruno, I think we've heard all of the downtown versions and conversations. Thank goodness he left and went back over to bother the referee. I feel sorry for the referee. Now there was double teaming. Bruno went over to distract the referee. Look at Diamond and, and Tanaka, both beating up on Jeff here. Ah, the referee is over and he says, hey, one at a time in here. Jeff Jarrett whipped into the ropes. Ooh. Old Diamond puts him down on the mat, counts one, and one is all he gets. Well, he got a two count, but just barely. Jeff kicked out of it. The important thing is the three count did not fall. Billy really get the audience stirred up to get behind Jeff and see if he can pull him out of this little down period that he's in. He is digging for Dundee. Tanaka runs in the ring. There's a tag on Bill, but the referee didn't see it. And he is going to run him out. Crowd trying to say yes he did tag but the referee didn't see it he sends Dundee out and I gotta say in the referee's defense that Bill has been known to jump in there without a tag so I can't blame him for being suspicious of it that's true and the referee was doing his job and trying to keep either Tanaka or Diamond not both in there against Jeff Jarrett at the time it's just one of those unfortunate things where all one million of us saw it except the amount that counted and in that case the referee there's another tag. This time Dundee comes in. I don't know if no, the referee no, saw that one or not. It. He didn't see it, Dave. No, he's going to send it back. Oh. Uh, well, that's it. Yeah, Dundee that's took matters right into his own hands. Yeah. He's he wants saying to bring it. Okay. Billy's got him disqualified. Yeah. And, and he should have been disqualified. Yeah, for throwing the referee down. So Jeff and Bill are going to lose this fall on disqualification. He got hot, grabbed yeah. a hold of the referee, threw him down, and uh, then took off after everybody else. The one person he should have kept his hands off of was the referee, and it cost him the fall. So they're back to the starting point to even go one fall apiece, both by disqualification. We're going to take time out, check our time, and see if we have enough for another fall. We'll be back in just a moment. For the deal that's least, go east. East Hyundai likes to do business your way. East Hyundai, 6440 Winchester. We sell cars that make sense. Go East Hyundai! Push it. Cool it. Stretch it. But when you overflex it, myoflex it, flex it, pump it, pump. New Myoflex pump, the pain relief rub that's grease-free, odor-free, stink-free, so you're free to flex, flex, flex. My myoflex, number one recommended by physicians and pharmacists. When you overflex it, my myoflex it, new Myoflex pump. Rip-offs. Eyesores. Unexpected problems. If something's bugging you, don't get mad. Get a pencil and paper and write Action News 5, What's Bugging You? 1960 Union Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee, 38104. After all, it could help you get results. A few winning moments from television's number one game show. <laughs> $10,000, 
come here to play a game. They've also come here to win. Wheel of Fortune, where America comes to play. Now on Sunday nights, too, at 10.30, following Action News 5. A couple of program reminders. Don't forget, 12 midnight tonight on TV5 Arena Wrestling. It'll be Lawler and Dundee against Stretcher Jack Hart and Chick Donovan. Big match midnight tonight on TV5. Yes. Special time, 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon for the Jerry Lawler Show. Special guest Phil Hickerson. And due to popular request, the repeat of the Wimp Buster video. That's tomorrow at 3. Yeah, 3 o'clock for the Jerry Lawler Show. We overlooked that arena wrestling sometime. We'll, uh, I'll talk about that later. I will not overlook Monday night. 12 matches, 7.30 special start time, regular prices. Be there. I guarantee you, you'll get your money's worth and a whole bunch more. For Dave Brown, Lance Russell saying bye-bye, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected. 34 feet in length, 19 inches wide, on pillars 20 feet above the ground. The incredible dual Skywalker match. a very unique feature. You're going to see all the action of a one-night Southern Tag Team Championship Tournament recently held at the Mid-South Coliseum in Memphis, Tennessee. Some great tag teams in action. Jeff Jarrett and Big Bubba. Jerry the King Lawler, Superstar Bill Dundee, Austin Idol and Wildfire Tommy Rich, a new team of Mr. Uh, Shima and Big Phil Hickerson, and they are a tough bunch. We'll also see in action many more teams. Keep it right here. We've got all the action coming up right after this today on Championship Wrestling. What you are about to see really puts a man's antiperspirant to the test. A perfect place to test new trust for men antiperspirant. Check it out. No matter what makes you sweat, new trust for men is powerful protection. It checks wetness. It checks odor. It is total protection. You can trust. Trust new trust in stick roll-on and spray. Get the total protection of trust for men. You gotta show me, you gotta show me what you got. I know. You gotta make, you gotta make it, you gotta make it good and hot. It's taco done. Make it wild and spicy. You get so much. Really pour it on. Mm. Oh, you gotta get, you gotta get me, you gotta get me to taco John. On Soft Shell Sunday, get two Soft Shell Tacos for $1.79 at All Area Taco John's. Clayton Mobile Homes, they've really done it. We've got over 10 pre-owned used homes in stock that we're offering for 5% down. 5% down payment, not 10%, not an acre of land. Folks, for y'all that ain't got 10% and ain't got no dirt, you want a home for your family? Hey, that's at Clayton Homes, Highway 45 South in Jackson. Just remember one thing, it's where the mobile home revolves in the sky. You, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. I, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. And I will faithfully execute the office of the presidency of the United States. The office of the presidency of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. The Constitution. The words we live by. Opening round action of the one night Southern Tag Team Championship Tournament. Let's go to the Mid-South Coliseum in Memphis, Tennessee, as Billy Travis and Mark Starr go up against the Moondog Spot and Stretcher Jack Hart. Jack Hart, Mark Starr. And this is interesting because Jack Hart, his opponent right at the moment, dead in the middle of the ring, both of them with black tights on and black knee bands. Extensive amateur backgrounds. This time, the big shoulder from Mark Starr puts Jack Hart.
Card now. Wasn't successful with the Moon Dog, but it was with Jack Card tag Billy Travis. Look at Travis in the air, and Hart was down again. Once again, Jack thrown down, and Travis just staying right after him. He really is working hard for a pin. is a different kind of an opponent. The Moondog spot. He went from a slick wrestler with a background of amateur wrestling to a rough and tumble Moondog spot. And now Star takes over. With that superior height, he slips into an arm bar. A very quick tag on Jack Star. Jack Hart. Oh, right down the ropes. A little sidekick coming from Jack Hart, and he caught Star pretty good with it. Bang. Had him biting the canvas there as he put him down, and Spot takes over. section knee lift and star is down jack hart gets a one two and that's all five minutes fast five minutes to wrestle five pass five to go couldn't tell whether hart came in with a fist or a forearm at that point some licks with Jack Hart. And as Star moved in to try to take advantage of what his right hand had gained him, shoulder to the midsection, Hart puts him down after the tag on the moon dog and the big moon dog. One, two, and Mark just barely slipped out. Bruno thought he had him too. Got a two count. Suplex and over goes Mark Starr. to the trunks. Loading that 
glove up, I'm sure. Whips Billy in. Sunset flip. Close line from Star. One, two, three. Now let's go to the next round of action as Jeff Jarrett and Big Bubba do battle with Paul Diamond and Pat Tanaka. sidestepped and shoved him right into Jack Hart. Two and a half minutes in. Big Bubba. And I think most of the wrestling fans know the bizarre story that happened to Bubba. When he went out to jump in his car to come to the matches and the next thing he knew he woke up with his hands tied, gagged in a dirty old shack which ultimately turned out to be uh, south of Hazard, Kentucky. Jeff Jarrett with Dan Rivers. Nice hip toss. Hooks the arm, drags Hart over and goes into a bar. side headlock. Jeff almost where he could have made a tag on Bubba. That slowed Diamond down. And look at Bubba. Wow. Paul Diamond. Caught between a rock and a hard place. Scampers out of the ring to safety. Slides back under that bottom rope. Jeff Jarrett waiting on him. Four minutes in. Jarrett as Hart comes in to take over. 